Hey, it's Joe from MMA Hive. I'm back today with a glove review. So Hayabusa very kindly sent me a pair of their, well, a version of their T3 boxing gloves, which are in the new edition, special edition of some of their Marvel series. So um, we're gonna take a look at the gloves, do a little unboxing, see what they're like. Um, I haven't had these gloves yet, but I'm really looking forward to opening them up and seeing what's so special about them. And yeah, because I hear a lot of good things, a lot of people that use them, particularly very good on terms of affordability, affordability with quality, but in particular, a lot of great um, wrist support around the hand into the wrist, um, which is a common issue for a lot of people, is getting... Uh, injuries in their wrists, especially early on in their boxing or fighting career. So let's get on with the unboxing. So I'm going to try to cut us in here without breaking anything. Right. I think I need a proper <laughs> knife. This is some serious quality packaging. There we go. Now they gave me some options about the uh, the colours, um, so I went for something quite particular. So let's take a look, wow. Yeah, so you can see already. Oh, and by the way, just to make it clear if it wasn't already, this this video is sponsored by Hayabusa, so they sent the gloves out for free. So thank you to them. Um, they wanted to see if I could give them a nice little review. So that's what I'm gonna do here today. Um, yeah, so you can see straight away, you've got Marvel Hero Elite Series. So that's the name of the full series. Um, powered by Hayabusa. We've got 16 ounce gloves in a red black variation. So you'll see exactly what style that is in a moment. Let's take it out. You might already be able to guess what it is, but the packaging looks nice. Looks really nice. I mean, the presentation wise, pretty chuffed with that really. Looks cool. So maybe you can see here through the, some little eyes through here to see what kind of style we've gone for. Let me open it up. Just pull out the gloves. Get rid of that. Mm, yeah. Love some fresh boxing gloves. <laughs> Got some nice paper wrap. I'll pull these out here and you can take a proper close look at these. If I can do it. Without ruining the bag. It's very fresh. Wow, there you go. <laughs> Let me check out the style. So I'm gonna pop that there while I get the other one ready. Pretty cool design. Feels a little bit like uh, kids' gloves by the <laughs> by the present by the way they look, but you know. All right, so I'll put these gloves here. It's got a certificate of authenticity, which is pretty nice. Definitely getting some nice quality with Hayabusa products. And we've just got, there's a tag on it still. So we'll get rid of that soon. But for now, I just want to take a look at the glove straight up. So you can see there's a little bit of marking from, I'm just going to get some little bit of moisture there <laughs> to, there's a bit of stickiness from the paper. So obviously it's been in this paper wrapping, which is just stuck to the glove a bit, but it's wiping off fine. Um, so yeah, like the, Straight away, the, the quality of the leather is quite significant. <laughs> you can tell that it's really nice quality. It just feels like proper leather. Um, so that's quite surprising. The first thing I think about anyway. And we've got the design here. This kind of perforation, I guess it's called, is like kind of solid. So it gives a, like, a nice little base for the logo of the Deadpool face. You've got the ridge here on the back of the hand, which I think maybe has either 
maybe it's stylistic, but maybe it has something to do with the, the support into the wrist. On the sides here, this isn't leather, but so this kind of like, or maybe it is, maybe it's more like a, a matted leather, kind of feels almost, uh, not suede -y, but it's soft. Um, not quite sure exactly what the material is because I'm not a material expert, material expert, but it definitely feels different. So I guess it gives a nice variation to the glove and the, and the style of it, whoops. So yeah, on the wrist strap here, you've got kind of, it looks like the um, Deadpool belt, which is pretty cool. <laughs> So it's got his logo and it looks like his uh, uh, strap strap off across his chest or across his belt. It's got Marvel here powered by Hayabusa. So I'm trying to make sure I get everything in frame for you. On the underside, I can see there's a nice elastic in the where the compartment is. There's a nice big gap inside here. So it looks like it has a lot of give for people with slightly bigger hands. And it's worth saying that these are the 16 ounce gloves. So they're already quite large for my hand. Um, these are kind of, I've got kind of small hands and small wrists. So the size of these are quite big already. So it's going to be interesting to see what they like, see what it's like when they're on. Again, there's some more paper there. So it's a bit stuck there. This part again, it has kind of a more I don't know what's in there, but it's a much tougher piece at that end. But luckily that's, and again, it's got the strap, <laughs> like a visual design that makes it look like a strap. But this is pretty much a nice flat punching surface. And you can see when I hold it side on, what you expect from a good glove is a really nice punching surface. So you're hoping that with that, that you want this edge to be as flat as possible. So with some use, it'll, it'll probably flatten it even more because you want to have a great punching area so it's very clear for you in your training to know where you're punching and that you're punching flat from the knuckle because so you want to be punching nice and flat like if you look at the my uh what how my knuckle is flat that's what you want to imitate so you have a nice good punching area um with a little bit of hitting off the knuckles but it's quite wide and it, i get i imagine it'll it'll flatten it feels super cushioned at the top here. Um, just from this piece, you can see that there's like a ton of dense foaming in the inside and that looks, that feels very comfortable. I think punching with that will feel really good. On the, going back to the inside, there is, I can see there's uh, air holes to keep your hands a bit less sweaty on the inside. And there's a, even a grip bar, which is quite, protruding which is good because when you're gripping having something to grip onto when your hand's in a glove helps with the stability of your hand a lot and helps prevent injuries just kind of helps you to make sure you're punching in the right style and making sure you can make a tight fist because the space in between your hand here if there's too much of it like sometimes with hand wraps that can be a can create a problem but basically you want a good seal in between your palm and uh, when you're making the fist because this is a normal fist and when your fist is like this um, that's not good for you so you need to be tightly squeezing onto something to make sure you can prevent any problems uh, it's got a really interesting like this isn't like standard velcro feeling here it's kind of a much softer material which is probably really good if you're if you're not wrapping all the way around and you're punching past your opponent's head and scuffing their cheek and neck and stuff like that that's not going to be any good for regular sparring partners um so yeah the thumb as well let me feel that that feels super cushioned as well <laughs> feels really good and you can see just from the uh doo -doo, you can see just from the curvature of the thumb it looks like really natural like as in a hand position this looks really great and it's even got this extra that's something you don't often see is this, um, put it this way, you can see this extra uh, bump coming out to the side and it's like quite specific, um, which is quite unusual because most gloves kind of, they feel much more straight like, like this, like cut off, but this comes out a lot. 
And I think that's going to really help with punching clean um, and not injuring your 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 first knuckle as much because most punches come right at this angle and if you're if you're hitting it right then you want to be on these two knuckles and those are the ones that are going to set the most damage and get the most pressure so that forces into your wrist and can cause some real problems if you're not punching correctly and this extra cushioning for you punching i think is going to be huge so again on this side you can see like this this is this huge protection happening like over your thumb and that's another thing is that I can totally imagine that protecting your thumb because you're punching over and sometimes it'll catch you'll catch your thumb more than you intend to but this extra layer here is going to be really helpful in preventing that so i'm really chuffed about that um getting these gloves in person it's really clear that there is a big difference in the way they're designed to protect the hand already there's also thumb holes for ventilation too You've got the 16 ounce uh, logo, well, identification over here. And there's more venting on the front of the hand. So hopefully it's very good at keeping your hands cool as well, which, because um, as soon as your hands get really sweaty in your glove, they, it, it becomes really stressful to, <laughs> to keep using them for long training sessions, I find. So having that ventilation hopefully means It'll be a much improved experience in that. But let's, I'm going to strip it out now. I'm going to open the strap, should I say, and see what this is like. So, got the classic sort of uh, Velcro here, um, but that's not going to, no one's going to feel that. And this is what's really interesting about high booster gloves. So they have quite, quite a unique um, strapping system. So it's not like a standard uh, loop system. Um, it's kind of uh, three parts to it. So. You've got like this main connector here, this much softer part, um, and it has like double strapping. So not only do you have the top one, but you have the secondary piece as well. So one secures it in place and one, one tightens even further. So that, that tightness is what's really gonna give you that ultimate protection for your wrist, which is gonna be super useful um, in preventing any injuries. So I'm gonna stick my hand in it and stop talking for a bit. As you pull it open, you can see here that it's it's got this el elastication here, which again makes it really good for like, hopefully for people with small wrists like me, um, but also maybe with people with big wrists will probably find this very comfortable because it'll be very secure. But you can see the main strap is here is what you'd see in a normal glove, but on the inside, it's got this elastication and this extra strap which is going to like give you a lot more snug fit, hopefully. So I'm going to stop talking and stick my hand in it. I mean, obviously I'm not wearing any hand wraps or anything, but I have to say for 16 ounce gloves, I haven't strapped it up yet. It already feels really snug. Like I'm not used to it being that snug without hand wraps, which is uh, probably, I would say a really good thing actually for me with small hands. So <laughs> I would consider myself having small hands anyway. You can see clearly that you can see my palm in between here. And I would imagine that's a lot of air coming in because not all gloves are like that. Usually the, there isn't so much openness to the hand up in here, but having that I think is specifically there because it allows you to tighten it. And when you tighten it up, this allows this area to close even more. Um, and provide that proper protection. But anyway, I'm gonna I just want to talk about that because, like, my thumb. I have weird. I feel like my thumb, like immediately, I can feel my thumb pushing against the far edge quite easily, and it feels a little uncomfortable. But I do think this is like um, a more natural sort of glove for the thumb position. Um, but my, my thumb kind of wants to ride higher this way, so I feel it pushing out this way, and that may be just the way my hand's positioned, but my thumb is sort of in this top corner here, um, but I've got a lot of protection for the thumb on the outside, considering that you're not going to be using it much, hopefully, um, and you want to be using this point right here to hit your opponents and hit the bag or whatever, then it feels, feels very comf comfortable in the... It's just that my thumb easily sticks into the seams, like into the corners. 
Um, so like, I would love much more padding to be like right in the edge of the thumb so that it sits there even more comfortably because I feel, I do feel a little bit like I'm in right in the edge, but maybe that's just my, the way my thumbs are. It's got the connector between the thumb and the main glove here as well, which is very tight. Like there isn't much movement there for the thumb, which is probably a good thing. So yeah, my hands in, I can feel, I can totally feel the grip bar when I squeeze my hand tight, which is again, like I said earlier, is really, it's going to be really impactful because yeah, I can really feel that grip bar. <laughs> um, these gloves already definitely feel like they're very shapely for my particular hand. And I think everyone has a different experience, but that is, that feels like a very um, thick grip bar and my fingers are well and truly placed as far down as I can get into the edge of the glove and that I can make a really tight fist actually. So when I'm gripping like this, I can feel the grip bar in between my hands, which means that I don't feel like I'm flat. I'm just holding my hand in a glove, you know? It feels more like I'm gripping onto something which is gonna give me a much better twist and a much better punch uh, onto this flat surface of the front of the glove. And if you just look at it like that, like you can see that I haven't even strapped yet, but you can see I've got a pretty snug fit in closing my fist together like this. So, so it does already feel pretty good. Okay, so strapping. So we've got, it's pretty self-explanatory. Once you put on the glove, it's pretty obvious what you need to do. But you've got double strap system to really tighten up the glove and get the optimum wrist support here. So I'm gonna start with the inside one. So you just pull that loop, that hook, uh, well, this strap through, which is pulling on this part of the, over around the wrist. And you can see all this extra space that you have around the wrist of the glove. It's really common, like, especially when it's just out of the factory, it's like <laughs> kind of flat and wide and it has all this extra gap and I don't have big forearms. So this is kind of a, like a lot of room for me. So hopefully I'll take this strap and I can pretty much go to town and pull it as much as I want. And you can see that it's sealed a lot of the, if I open it up again, you can see this massive gap here, like I can almost get a bunch of fingers in. But if I try and turn this way and I pull this strap, I need to do it this way really. Um, but if I pull this strap, then you can see that there's a lot less room in the glove. So already that's feeling like really nice. But if I pull it on the outside so we can see, I can pull it as tight as I want really. And I can put place it down over the main, uh, what do you call it, Velcro. And that's already given me quite a tight <laughs> fit around my forearm. And I'm definitely not used to gloves hugging my forearm quite this much because all that space that was there, it's now kind of gone. Like, I, it's not flopping around. It's like turning with my wrist completely. And I can't, I really don't have a lot of bend in my wrist. And it may be it's because I've tightened it so much with here but that feels really comfortable. And I, of course I could like loosen it up if it was like pressuring my blood in my veins too much or just getting uncomfortable. But so far already with one strap, it feels very tight, very snug. So I'm pretty happy with, with that. But then I'm gonna put on the extra strap, which I think this bit, it kind of gets in the way maybe a little bit, but I'm going to just Go, o go over to secure it in place with the final strap. And then we can see that I'm like double strapped up. You can see on my forearm how like nice and tight that is. Like it's super tight. <laughs> so I'm already like, wow, this feels super, super snug, right? Like really, really snug. With this double strapping, it's, um, it's, it's a lot of comfort. And again, to like, Talk about bending the wrist. I can barely bend my wrist. <laughs> like that's if I try really hard to bend my wrist. And for me, that is something, that's a key thing I'm looking for in a glove. Um, when you have smaller hands and smaller wrists and smaller forearms, you don't have as much like muscle or meatiness in there to protect your delicate bones in those areas. 
And when that's the case, you really need something that can like lock your wrist into your hand, especially in the back of the hand, because this is and and reduce that turning over of the hand because a really common early issue with boxing, punching the bag, like going too hard too quickly and you know, not having proper mobility or strength training to, to beef up the strength in your hands and your forearms, which a lot of people don't do. It's really easy to overturn your hand and in that overturning, you'll injure your wrist over and over again and eventually it becomes like some real problems. And I've done it and that's why for me now, after realising where those issues come from, having support to the wrist, into the back of the hand, to give a lot of stability of a straight line with the arm. So the forearm and the top of the knuckle want to be in a complete straight line. We don't want to be over here all the time because that's going to, that bending is going to cause all the pressure to be pushed into the wrist and the lower forearm. So yeah, I'm really, I'm kind of crazy about that. <laughs> that's, um, I'm really happy with that security in the, in the wrist there. So, but you can see on the front, it's, uh, Still got a hole here, so my a hand is getting air. Um, I can sort of move my palm around inside the glove a little bit. Um, the only thing I worry about is when something does get strapped this tightly, is that if the glove like, somehow pushes away from the, like slides away from the wrist, then like my fingers are now over here rather than at the end of the glove. And then I'm kind of stuck and I'm just hitting with kind of air in the end of the glove and the stability is not there. So it's, uh, yeah, you definitely need to restrap it because you want to get your fingers literally as far as you possibly can and your hand as far into the glove as possible before you start strapping it up because that is super important. So I'm going to tighten this one first. And then the second strap is really just like for extra security. <laughs> like. Most of the strapping happens with the first one and the second one just seals the deal and seals it in place. So yeah, but it feels really good. You can see it pulls together here. Um, so the lever is almost sort of overlapping with me because of the size of my hands. So, but it seems to do it perfectly fine. Like it's got that allowance for it rather than them sort of pushing against each other, rather than two pieces pushing against each other and causing a big, like a huge bump here. Like that is just my hand there. So if I do like this, then maybe you can see like there could be a big bulging part here, but I don't think it's so much of an issue because the front of the hand needs to be fairly flexible. Um, it's all about the back of the hand where stability from the wrist into the top of the knuckle. And I can imagine doing some punching with this, with this big extra cushioning on this part of the hand. Like, look how spongy that is. <laughs> um, and it feels really nice. It's a really nice spongy on the, on the top. Like, I definitely can't get to my feeling my hands yet um, and I can feel that this will flatten very nicely to give me a really nice punching surface so yeah these Deadpool gloves the Marvel Deadpool version of the Hayabusa T3s are really nice um, very happy with them they look they look crazy <laughs> like these are very flashy gloves right so if that's something you like then then that's something yeah you could enjoy with in the gym because when you're blocking when you've got your hands up people are going to see these deadpool eyes and they're going to be a bit cautious of you probably so definitely really happy with these gloves i think they're I think they're great i'm excited to try them out um yeah that stability in the back of the hand is is awesome so i would say for any beginners i would definitely say that you know even intermediate like having a pair of gloves like this with this really good quality of leather, um, really good cushioning, really important cushioning over the front of the knuckle, amazing strapping system that is stopping my wrist from moving. Like I wish I started with gloves like these, I absolutely do, because it would have pre pre prevented a lot of injuries. You know, they might not be as suitable for certain martial arts like Muay Thai, uh, kickboxing to some extent, you know, where you have to open your palm more, but hey, I can open my palm, so it's not impossible, but because of the stability in the back of the hand, like Muay Thai is often a lot about using your wrists to give you ability to, to sweep legs and to catch legs and things like that, um, that maybe these gloves are not the best for, say, Muay Thai, but 
but I do think like for a beginner, um, the, the advantages of in injury prevention far outweigh any negatives like that. And I would just stick with something like this until you are, you know, if you're doing strength training with your martial arts and you're doing mobility on your wrist, you know, you're looking after your wrist because these are your money makers, <laughs> then, then I think you'd be okay. But, uh, it's important to really get that protection. So yeah, I'm crazy about these gloves so far. Um, I'm, I'm hoping to see if I can get my hands on some more styles as well and see what those are like. But yeah, um, these Marvel Hero Elite Boxing Gloves, officially licensed and officially made by Hayabusa. And I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, I think these are really cool. So looking forward to using these. Um, there'll be a link in the description if you want to buy a pair for yourself. And again, thank you to Hayabusa for sending me out a review pair of these gloves. Um, really excited to give these a try and get some more info on them, which maybe will come in the future videos. So, okay, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.